Guys, in today's video, I'm bringing you a fire jinx gameplay. A complete hard carry, by the way. We drop 18 kills. We get a pentakill. We completely go crazy. And what's what's even funnier is it wasn't even a it wasn't even a super snowbally game. It was because I was just playing so good. Like my teammates were kind of throwing. So I think Jinx is actually really, really strong right now, and I need to definitely play her more. So for the items, you're going to want to run Bloodthirster, Magnetic Blaster, Stasis, Infinity Edge, Rune on Hurricane, and Motor Reminder. And actually, just to make this a little bit easier for you guys, what you're going to want to do is have Red Boots first, because you want to get your Red Boots first. For the runes, you're going to want to rock Lethal Tempo, Brutal, Giant Slayer, Alacrities, and Bone Plating. And for the spells, you're going to want to run Ghost and Flash. So with that, let's just get right on into the video. Guys, we're now in the freaking gameplay, which is lit. MF walked way too far forward. John was able to get the auto off, which actually took out MF's first strike, which is really, really big for us. And I mean, Jinx, Jinx, Jana against Jin MF. It's a Jin. It's a MF support, by the way, uh, which is a viable thing. But, you know, you really need to play it well. But as you can tell, we already applied pressure. We rushed their bush. We took control of their bush. We applied some poke, um, which was huge. And then right here, I keep applying more poke with my long range. Right there, I could have gotten another auto attack off, but I, my timing was not the best. Right here, we kind of, we kind of were trying to take an aggressive angle on them. But we weren't able to uh, close the gap as well. And Jonna kind of lost a little bit of HP. But yeah, dude, Jinx, guys. I've only played a couple Jinx games. And she is very, very strong. Like, out of the games I've played so far, she is disgustingly... Dis disgustingly strong. Like, way too strong. Like, this champion does too much damage... And I think what makes Jinx so much better than she used to be is Bloodthirster. And I think Bloodthirster has had a big effect on, on multiple champions, actually. Like, like Jinx, Zeri, even Zaya, Draven. Any champion that can build... Oh, Tristana. Like, all these champions are so much stronger now that they can build Bloodthirster. And it actually makes it to where... Kaisa isn't even as strong as she used to be even though that she wasn't nerfed she wasn't touched in any way but she feels weaker because she can't build bloodthirster like these other ADCs and because of that it makes champions like Zeri and Jinx for example to be almost on her level when it comes to like carrying the game and and honestly in my personal opinion guys actually I you know what? This got me thinking. I'm going to make sure to do a tier list. Because I've played most of the ADCs so far. Because I'm trying to get builds and gameplays for, for all of them for you guys. Since they're all new builds and things like that. But I should get a tier list out. Because I, I feel pretty confident on what I think is the best right now. I mean, this this gin is... is all alone here and i'm just slowly sitting here sitting there chunking away at this turret getting plates which is really good but yeah i should definitely make a tier list i'm trying to get another plate because i'm a little greedy got the plates now i'm gonna look for my reset which is huge but yeah i mean i think i feel pretty confident of what i feel like are the best adcs right now for ranked and so and i've also been watching the um Oh, look at this, guys. I'm lining up the shot. Boom. Shoot it. Dink. Oh, that's always so nice. That is always so, so nice. And so satisfying when you get a long-range snipe like that. Because as you can tell, like, our, our teammates have died twice already. And the only kills we got was bot lane. So when that happens, you're feeling a little bit on edge. You're like, yo, team. I don't know how I feel about this. Right there, I was body blocking Jin W because I didn't know if Jin had W or not. But you definitely don't want to eat MF damage. 
but but Jinx is definitely definitely a very good power up. See, Lee Sin died again. We're applying some poke here, and I'm like, all right, let's just shove it in and start sieging the turret with this big wave. And I decide to go for the rocket, complete with, complete with. I'm like a psychopath, and I'm hitting the turret, knowing that they have a player advantage here. But I'm like, I don't even care. I'm down to ego it right now. And right here, Ari comes in. I use my ghost. If honestly, if that if that tornado landed, Ari would have been gone. I'm like, I'm actually like curious how Ari was able to actually run out of that so fast. Like, I thought she was still in the bush, to be honest. I shove in another wave. Because I really want to get enough gold for Bloodthirster, but I, I still don't have enough gold for Bloodthirster. I need 200 more. I'm just landing some more poke. Chunking down the enemies. I'm clicking my reset, but I decide to stay and look for this Ari. Look at this. Boom. Dink! Beautiful! Two snipes, and look at this. I immediately come in. I wanted to apply pressure on Kha'Zix. But instead, we got this beautiful combo on Jin. I flash over, get the kill onto Jin, and then I start running down this MF and get the MF. And so, just like that, guys, I'm 4 and 0 with one assist, and I mean, I'm essentially pretty fed. I mean, you're not going to get any more fed than this for the early game. Like, this is a beautiful start. And since I saw Kha'Zix path to Rift Herald, I knew that we could start this dragon even though our jungler wasn't here. It would just be uncontested. Which I think is good. Especially if your jungler is bad and you're able to get any sort of objective. It's always pretty good. Rip that cannon right there. I decided to click my reset because I really need to shop. Like, I haven't shopped in a while. But Jana passed the Jin grenade on top of me. Which made me have to stay longer. And I was like, right here I was like getting pretty frustrated because we're losing in mid. Because obviously they have Rift Herald and I was about to reset and like help, but I'm stuck in this lane. So now I pick up the Bloodthirster. I'm still starting to build into the Magnetic Blaster. Now, I think that like if you don't really need them, if you don't really want to go Magnetic Blaster second, you could just go the Runon second or even Infinity Edge uh, second. Like... I think the cool thing with this update now is you can kind of build whatever you like like there's certain OP items you need to build but you could build them in kind of whatever order you want to a certain extent but I recommend the bloodthirster first for sure but then you could go IE second magnetic blaster second rune on second and you know you just stack them one after each other because those are really the items you're gonna want but it's not like a it, it's not like it's gonna matter a, a whole lot like you're not gonna lose a game because of the order of the items you build look at this damage i do to cosmics boom boom like dude imagine you're a jungler you want to gank the lane and then you get chunked out like that i think right here i decide i click my ghost and i try to i try to go for it but i couldn't but I mean, we chunk. We still did a lot of damage. We were able to chunk out a lot right there. I was worried about Zoe here. I was like, honestly, I could body block it too because I have Bloodthirster. But I'm like, what I want. What I'm thinking right here is I want to take this turret. I want to take this turret, and then just run them down. So right here, I'm walking up, take the turret, go to my rocket form, and I just let MF have it. Boom! And she tried to flash away. She was too greedy with her flash. She was way too greedy, but if if she was still a little bit low, I would still flash for her. If she flashed away, and it didn't kill her, I would have I would have flashed for her. But it's nice to kill her and take out her flash with me still having my flash. So I went magnetic blaster this game. I think it's nice because then I don't need to get as close to Lancer and auto attacks. And I think magnetic blaster second is just a very strong item to go second. And now that we have bought turret. We're like, okay, they're trying to maybe push it here. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to walk yet. i kind of looking for this Jace to get caught out. But he, he's kind of like, he's kind of playing it smart. Like, he's not walking in random areas. Zoe's trying to look. Maybe there's someone walking in mid. She could, like, hit with an empowered, empowered Q. 
or not an empowered Q, but just hit a, hit with a with a Q. I shove bot, go for the reset here. And as you see, I'm building right into the infinity edge, but then it switched to the rune ons because I'm like, I want more attack speed. They're pretty squishy as a comp. I don't need IE uh, third here. I start walking top because I'm like, okay, I want to siege top turret. I want to siege top turret. There's nothing else for me to do. Even in mid, there's nothing for me to do because the enemy team will just clear mid. I feel like I can make a play with the, the wave up here. So here I am, coming top. Going for the turret. Boom. Perfect. Now I'm going for the reset here. We, we basically traded both side lane turrets. Which is not the best because you want to get a turret without losing one but if you trade it's okay and plus if you're playing jinx and you're the one that's trading it's really good for you because you're going to be scaling way stronger late game i think i use my ghost here soon i'm like okay all right you need to die and these two kills are huge because now we're able to get the second dragon which is really really big for us but the enemy team even though they're down two they still decide to contest this and i think i could have do I could have done a better job uh, zoning here, but yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately that wasn't the case. And you know what's crazy is I invested my flash into that play and Zoe's the one that stole the kill anyways. We keep sieging here. I'm, he I'm healing with my, with my bloodthirster, bloodthirster so OP. Right there, that proves how OP Bloodthirster is. And then I was going to reset, but the reason why I canceled my reset is because like, I want to take this scuttle while it's available because I would like to have this vision in the river. And I also pop their vision cone because this, oh, and then look at that. I mean, I just, it leaves Jace perfectly right here for me. I use my rocket. He actually dies to the red buff burn. And then I thought I was in a bad spot, but look at me go crazy, triple. Oh my god, and I would have got had the quadra. I would have had the quadra. And then look at that, how dumb that Zoe is. The Zoe took my quadra and then went and killed herself. Which is just, how smart was she? Smartest Zoe player. Now we just do the Baron because, I mean, there's, there's no point to not do the baron like th there's four people dead they do have low cooldowns but it doesn't even matter because when you're jinx and you're this powerful you're gonna be able to clear baron very fast champions like also like zaya kaisa zeri i mean they clear baron so fast so fast i'm trying to think of which adc like clears baron the slowest I guess I would have to say Ash. Ash is probably like the slowest clearing objective EDC. Because Nyla and, and, and Samir are pretty fast too. Nila. They had a ward in mid for some reason. Juicy poke auto. Jace tried it. Landed very good poke. But look what I do right here, guys. Is Jana healed me, of course, but I'm just healing back up i'm like unfazed i'm unfazed look at that look at that i'm full hp without even resetting if that's not broken then i don't know what to say like that is not fair because think about it if i didn't have this healing right now i would have had to reset and then this baron push would be over but now we're actually able to push much better without resetting because i have bloodthirster and I wanted to keep poking, but I just couldn't. Kha'Zix tried to try to hop on me, but then had to flash out. Like, that was, like, so, so bad for him. Like, look, I'm just, like, healing so much. Take the blue buff, which is always nice, so you can stay in rocket form as long as possible. And then now I pick up the scuttle, and I'm looking for a reset. But this Jace, look, look how far out these guys are. I'm like, okay. And, like, I don't get that kill because I'm freaking charmed. 
like maybe I could go longer but I'm like okay I don't want to die to Kha'Zix but then I saw Kha'Zix up so I'm like okay this turret is is going down here and I was gonna shove I was gonna fight him with with taking that turret but then MF ulted and I was like okay I don't want to run through MF's ultimate so that was really good that sequence right there you know clearing the scuttle and then having Jace Ari walk into us allowing us to pick him off into going for their their inhib finally that was good because now we're gonna have more mid control than before at this point I'm pretty cocky so I'm just running out in mid and I channel my reset I think I get cancelled here though and like I'm pretty mad Jace hops on me I pop stasis I'm like, yeah, that was pretty bad, guys, but this MF really messed up right here. Like, look how empowered I am. Wow. They, uh... We actually went too far. We went way, way too far. And right here, I auto attack the dragon to get some healing. Hey, guys, look at this. I'm seeing my Aatrox get one-shotted, but look at my Runons putting in work. I get the reset. And then now I can just start running them down. Flash in. Easy. Easy. So even though we threw by overextending, it doesn't even matter. And then look right here. I almost killed myself to MF, which would have been really bad. But at the same time, giving MF the bounty is not the worst person to give the bounty. And then look at this healing, man. So, so good. So good. We're not leaving anything anything up for the enemy team like this is this is how you snowball you take every ounce of the freaking jungle left i cleared the blue side aatrox is clearing the red side i mean there's nothing left for kha'zix to farm pick up the ie and then now i go into the mortal reminder so powerful so powerful i mean right there that was literally a 2v4 and we uh completely won it with ease I mean, the only thing you gotta watch out with Jinx, or whenever you're playing a real hyper carry ADC, is your job is to just make sure you don't get hit by any of the abilities that can kill you. That's basically it. Right here, we try to rotate up on Jace. Jace has, I think, Edge of Night, so we can't even kill him. Yeah, I mean, he reset it. He reset it. They're, the enemy team's in mid. Me and this Lee Sin are walking aggressively through their, their, their red side, but I'm like, okay, what am I doing? I shouldn't be there. So I walk back, but then then this is what happens. So I see a bunch of them here. I'm feeling pretty good, and I wanted to walk up to po poke, uh, poke Kha'Zix, but the timing of it, I honestly, looking at it back, I thought I threw really badly, which I mean, I did throw. But what ended up happening was is the Ari didn't even mean to go on me. The Ari didn't even know I was going to be right there. So when the Ari went in and then I just happened to go in the same time Ari went in and that was bad for me. So the timing was just really bad. But we did get three kills out of it. So that is enough kills for us to not have to worry about the enemy team doing Baron or anything. But... I when this happened, I was feeling quite annoyed because I was playing pretty flawlessly. I was pretty fed. I mean, I'm also, I have a lot of bounties that, you know, you don't want to be giving up when you're this fed. Uh, because, you know, you see, I still have a 300 gold bounty on me, even though I just died with a, probably a thousand gold bounty. So we end up start hitting the elder, which I'm like, this is a terrible decision. But we do bait out a TP, which starts the fight. I'm hitting the dragon to heal a bit. Ari goes in. I use my ghost. I get the reset. Auto auto. W boom. W flash. Ward over the wall. And they are just gone. So that was a perfect Jinx fight. I end up getting the Penta kill, which was so beautiful, into the enemy team surrendering, which is the best way to... Um, win a game of wild rip getting a penta forcing the enemy team to ff so they don't even give you the satisfaction of hitting the nexus but that was a super clean game besides that one death so 
anyways guys i think jinx is an absolute powerhouse make sure to give her a try and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one peace